price bands, price bands, price bands. Oh, how they have ruined our game. And just when you thought they couldn't get any worse, the idiots who thought them up in the first place have started tampering with them, messing with them, lowering them, fluctuating them all over the place, and just generally fucking shit up even more. Now, to properly explain this story, we're going to take it back to the start, the original thing that happens, the introduction of price bands, the destruction of the market. The analogy that I like to use is imagine Ultimate Team is a car and the transfer market is a tyre and the tyre gets punctured, it breaks. Coin sellers have ruined the market, you could say, if you really do want to, but when you look at the state of it now, it's pretty evident that I was better off before. And, but anyway, let's just go along with it for now. We've got a flat tyre, our wheel is broke. Rather than fixing the tyre, patching the glitches, patching the puncture, fixing it, just making it better, getting rid of auto buyers, removing the nail that made it this bad in the first place. Nope, just rip the whole front axle off because that is exactly what EA did. Instead of fixing their game, they just fucked it up even more, ripped their nose off to spite their face. Now, most people in the world have recognised that if you've got a flat tyre and your car won't go, ripping the whole front axle off is not going to make it go. But apparently EA didn't recognise that. And that is what they have gone and done. So this is where we are. This is where we are stuck. So what we're going to do is we are going to go and we need some coins. And as you can see in the top left corner, not only do I not have any coins, I haven't got a club. I haven't got any record. I haven't got any FIFA points. I haven't got a badge. The game's just fucked. But we need some coins. We want to improve our team. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and buy some FIFA points. No FIFA points were bought in the making of this video. Buying FIFA points just fuels the problem and puts money in EA's pockets. If you don't want the market to stay like this, do not buy FIFA points, kids. Don't support EA. Do not buy FIFA points. We then take them FIFA points and we go and open a pack. Now, we want to get someone good. We need some coins. Oh my god. As you can see, we managed to pack in Farm Gibbs. Awesome EA, thank you so much. I'm gonna be rich, I'm gonna sell them, I'm gonna improve my team. I'm gonna be able to get one of them newly attainable big players that you guys introduced some price bands have made the normal player like me be able to buy. Oh wait, it's impossible to sell my Gibbs. As you can see, every single person basically who has bought or got an informed Gibbs in a pack has got them listed for 151,000 by now. There's people have put hunter cards on, there's people with attribute cards on, just trying to get them to sell because nothing at all will sell. Now, let's take this back to the car analogy. The car is still broken. We've ripped off the axle and it still won't go. We've added price caps and the market is still broken. Nothing will sell. What can we do to fix the market? What can we do to make our car go? Should we add a new axle? Should we put the car back to how it was but fixed? No, that, that, that's just stupid. It's the bumper. It's the bumper's fault. The bumper is touching the road. What we need to do is saw off the bumper. That is going to fix everything. And that is exactly what EA did. Oh, things aren't selling for the minimum price. We'll just lower the minimum price. But lo and behold, after lowering the minimum price, nothing sells still. Who'd of thunk it? Oh my god, EA, you guys are absolute geniuses. That idea almost works bollocks. It didn't even come close. And the worst thing is, is not only is this still absolutely ruining the game, it ruins and targets and just loses so many coins and just totally fucks up all of your transfers. The people who've actually supported this game while it has been a shit show, basically. So people who've, the loyal players who've carried on playing this game, because, for example, I'm going to show you guys some now. I bought a Man of the Match Ericsson. All these players that I'm going to show you are bought during the price cap bringing in phase. So I bought Man of the Match Ericsson for about a week ago for 605,000 coins. EA have since lowered his price, and now it is impossible to sell them for 400. I bought a Neymar, the upgraded version, for 470. I'm pretty sure this was during the very original one. So I only bought this Ericsson like last week. This Neymar, I'm pretty sure I bought just after they brought in the price caps, but I needed them for a squad. I wanted to use them. So I just bought them anyway because I just want to carry on playing FIFA and have some fun. 470k. I think since then EA have loaned him to 370. He still didn't sell. And now he's been lowered again to 270 and he still doesn't sell. And every single name I listed on the market is 271,000 coins. Di Maria bought him for 120, won't sell for 65. And I can't even show you the worst ones, which was Man of the Match Yaya Torre, I bought for like 1.9 million. And you, he just doesn't sell for 1.3 anymore. I can't show you it though, because I actually used them to transfer some coins. With having such a big price band, you can use them to transfer like six or 700,000 coins at a time. So that was what I was using them to do, which is pretty naughty. But what are you going to do? It's the only way you can get coins on this game. Like I said, it is important to note that I bought these players while they still weren't selling. But at the same time, rather than just fixing the game and sorting it out, I don't even know what they could do. I'm basically just being punished for being a loyal FIFA player. And I, I feel even more like most, literally basically all of the coins that I've got, that I bought these players, that I bought the coins, obviously. 
But I do feel even more for people. Like, I've still bought these coins with my hard in money, don't get me wrong, but I still feel for the people that have traded for these players, that have paid EA money and put money in EA's pockets buying FIFA points to pack these players. Even more loyal players than me. Like, I play this game every day. I absolutely love this game, or I used to love this game. It's getting on my tits absolutely massively now. These guys have been absolutely screwed over even more than I have because you could say I was part of the problem. These guys weren't, and they have been absolutely ruined by it as well. Now, EA are going to say it is fine because all cards are still relative and all cards have been dropped. Neymar might be down to 270k, but we've also lowered Hazard's price and we've also lowered Messi's price. Now, that doesn't cut it for me because, first of all, I literally cannot sell my players to buy any other ones that they are still relative for. That's just a main ridiculous point. But also... You haven't lowered the price of every other thing on the game. Like, you haven't lowered the price of packs. So, originally, when I bought that Neymar, I could have bought 62 packs for 7.5k with that. Now, if I could actually sell them for 270 which is unlikely, but let's pretend I could sell them for 270k. If I went and spent that 270k, I was going to get 36 packs. So, it's almost half. It is ridiculous. Basically, I don't know what they're doing. I don't know if it's part of EA's master plan to get loads of coins out of the game and they're just fucking everyone up. I don't really know what is going on at all, but... Hopefully it works out, I can't see it working out, and basically they've just screwed over mostly the loyal people who have carried on playing this game while it was absolutely shit, and basically price ban changes have become overnight one of the most annoying things on FIFA 15. So that is where we're going to leave this video, lads. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, if you could drop a like, you guys got mental on the likes for this series, so if you could smash like 7,500 again, that would be insane. Make sure you subscribe if you're new around here. If you've got anything else annoying about this game that you want me to talk about, leave it down in the comment section. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.